Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, real quickly, I had a flash of someone trying to access a government database to do something in the system. You may not want to do that. Um, that's going to lead to a lot of problems for you. I don't know if this is like a court official, like a lawyer, a lawyer or like a police officer, FBI. I don't think this is an FBI agent doing this. I think this is like someone either in the court system as far as like a lawyer or a judge or like a police officer or someone that's a hacker that's hacking into the government database or something. Um, to do something either with an application, to put some type of fraudulent information on someone's record. There's something like that going on. You may not want to do that because you're playing with fire. I don't know if you all the, uh, have lost your minds or something, um, but you may not want to do that. It's going to lead to problems for you. You're trying to cause problems for a queen of pentacles, but it's going to lead to problems for you. And I'm talking about real problems for you. I don't know if you're a king of cups reverse. Whether you're a King of Pentacles reverse, King of Swords reverse, whoever you are, someone is accessing a government database to change something in there. You're not even supposed to be in that system. I don't know if someone paid you to do something, but you may not want to. Because, mm. baby, you got problems coming in. I don't know if you're trying to deny someone's application for something. You're trying to put something fraudulent on somebody's record. Uh, trying to come up with some type of fictitious court case. Because you're trying to have someone bind it, someone uh, uh, stuck, just someone in a really horrible situation. You may not want to do that. That's all I'm being told to tell you. You may not want to do that. Uh, whatever scheme you all are on, you've gotten a little bit too carried away with it. Where you're out here trying to get into the FBI's database. Because I saw the website said government on there. And it had the government seal on there. And someone accessing some type of information they shouldn't have access to. They have no reason being in there. And I'm telling you, you may not want to. It's going to be a problem. You got problems coming in. You may want to walk away. Because it's not going to end the way you think. So you all have gotten so uh, caught up in something. You, you can't find your way out. You can't find your way back to common ground. You, you're bonded to something. I'm thinking you may be bonded to something. Whatever it is, it's going to lead to a tower for you. And you may end up in a penitentiary. Whatever drastic or uh, hasty reaction you're thinking about taking to cause someone difficulty, I will advise you to let it go. But I saw somebody logging into the government's baby. <laughs> someone took something federal. They don't know. Uh, maybe they know, but they feel invincible. Maybe this collaboration is over. There's clarity about a toxic group that's been out here doing a whole lot. Uh, there may be someone trying to send you some type of communication, but people are trying to block it, something from the court system. There could be someone in the court system that has fallen from grace because they've been exposed as a fraudulent person. Maybe this is a person that's been locking into a government site trying to change stuff, trying to do uh, 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 things illegally unethically but they're pretending to be ethical someone has fallen from grace okay uh they're not working uh like they're supposed to as seen they're not doing the job that they're supposed to be doing they're out here doing fraudulent activity activities been uh partnering up with a toxic group behind the scenes and this man has been doing this or this woman has been doing this with these people for a long time this is someone that acts from behind the scenes, but he acts like he's in the upright or she's in the upright publicly. And there's clarity out about this group, what they've been doing, this toxic group, the lie, the collabor the lies, the collaborations, the uh, uh just the the slimy activities. Um, but there's a court official, whether this is a court case or something that's going on or it's supposed to come up, you all are fixing to be uh in some really sticky situations i don't know why you all are doing something huh what your intentions are behind something but i'm being advised to tell you guys to let go 
don't do it. Uh, find something better to do with your time because whatever problems you're trying to bring or cause for someone, it's not going to lead to anything for them. It's going to lead to problems for you. Like there's somebody watching you all that knows exactly what you're doing. Even you, the crooked official in the court system, they know what you are doing. And someone is investigating you and everybody involved and they are making sure to get to the bottom of something before they even make a move. So if you're trying to make it seem like someone did something illegal because you've invaded their privacy and you haven't found something uh, illegal about them, you haven't found something uh, 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 criminal about them, so you're getting into the system to create your own problems for them, it's not going to end. That person is not spending a day in jail. They're not spending a day in the penitentiary. They ain't serving no time. But you are, though. You are. You are. Uh, your unholy, whatever this is you all have going on, is exposed. It's going to be even more exposed. It's more secrets coming out about you all. So I think you have gotten comfortable with doing something for over the years where nobody can, no one has been suspecting you to be someone that is uh, a false person, a false energy, a false character. Yeah, you are false. You've been causing a lot of illusions and things like that. No, you, no one has been suspecting you, but there's somebody watching you. Oh, there is somebody watching you and they are getting to the bottom of everything and they're going to balance something out. Uh, you have a king of pentacles as well that you all have been trying to deceive. And he knows you all have been trying to uh, play mental games with this, this man, confuse him and things like that. Have him living in fear about having wish fulfillment as far as giving to someone. So you've been trying to trap him, bond him, lying to him about the work somebody does. You try to say that someone's work is malicious, it's dark, it's this, it's that. Someone is conniving. So you've, you've told this man that a woman is a whole lot of things that they are not. And because now he sees through, through you all, you all are taking drastic measures to get into the court system, the FBI uh, system, uh, government database to create some type of fictitious uh, whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but I just know it's illegal. You may not want to. You may want to back out of this nonsense. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay? You are trying to work together to make sure someone does not have wish fulfillment. Things are not go their way. They're not happy in life. They don't have peace to work. That They end up moving on from their work, their commitments, and things of that nature. It's not going in that way. It's not going in that order. Someone is still going to be birthing new things, uh, investing in new dreams and goals and opportunities. Everything you've destroyed, they're going to receive back 10 times full. You all, on the other hand, and got problems coming in. I saw that vision. I said, I, I, I must be going crazy because there's somebody out here trying to access the government database. Like they're trying to put something on someone. These are people that have invaded someone's privacy and could not find nothing. I mean nothing. They were trying to find something to be able to blackmail you with or get you caught up in the court system, but they could not find nothing. When I said nothing, nothing. They couldn't find nothing on you. So what they've done is gotten into, hacked into the government's database, and they're trying to put something on there so they can, they can make it look legit. Like you're actually a criminal, that you did something, or trying to reject some type of application, or just trying to put something on you, or put you in some type of bind. And it's about to backfire on these people. I don't know what kind of hatred. This is a different level of hatred. To just make, I'm telling you, I slip my deck in this under three of swords. This is a different level of hatred just to make sure someone does not receive a ace of pentacles or some type of offer, whether it's love or in work. But whoever these people are, I'm telling you, you may not want to do it because at the end of the day, whoever you're trying to block is still going to be seen. Still, you're going to be disappointed. There's someone in the court system, I'm telling you, sir, ma'am, you may want to take a different path. You're in the court system. You don't got to be high ranking. You don't have to be a judge. You can be a lawyer. You could be a, a, a police officer, FBI. You could be a PI. I don't know the specifics on you. Or you could just be someone that's a hacker and you've hacked into the government database or you're planning on doing this. And I'm telling you, don't do it. 
because you're going to be binded facing difficulties i'm telling you facing difficulties and while you're going through all of this lying about somebody's work and all of that angry about somebody's work mad about somebody's work jealous of somebody's work at the same time or their discipline their energy things are going to be balanced for them while you're headed to the penitentiary it's never that serious it's never that serious everybody got a blessings attached to them Everybody got blessings attached to them. You just got to do the work. You can't be out here angry and pissed up because the universe decided to bless someone with an ace of pentacles, but you want to come out here and plan to cause them endings and failures to their work. Because what? What? Because you're unstable? Yeah. You're mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. So whatever you've been uh, investing in with a group of people, you may want to chill because this queen of pentacles, baby, guess what? They're about to still be out here with a ten of pentacles, living their dreams, following their dreams, focus on their dreams, and still doing what it is they're supposed to do and getting the heck up away from you people. So moving forward victoriously, okay? Uh, and the decision has been made by a king of wands, baby, to move the heck on. This man is either obsessed with moving on or obsessed with this queen of cups whatever this is he is listening to his intuition and moving the heck on okay uh so i don't know what it is you all think you're about to do to bring someone court uh, a, a court case uh tie them up in something it's not going in baby you know baby uh, baby i'm flabbergasted i'm bewildered i am baffled okay King of Pentacles, be very cautious. There's something where people are trying to come after you now because you are determined to do something your way. You've made a decision. Someone does not have any type of power over you to tell you what to do. And she knows that or he knows that. So what it is they're trying to do now. Now is to take some type of impulsive and reckless action against you so you don't balance something out. They're pissed off of the decision you've made. You've decided to, you've made some type of decision to give to someone or to move on with your life. Remove yourself from a situation and you have the authority to do that. But someone is pissed off about that. They may even be sending some type of young energy towards you to be your friend. That ain't your friend. There's some, this is someone that's binded to these people as well. They're toxic as heck. Be very cautious. You don't have any friends around you. There's a king of cups that's been around you that I also told you is not your friend. Hopefully you picked up on that. He's malicious. He's part of the, the, the group. He's part of the group. Yes, he's part of the group. All the rituals they've been doing. Because everything these people are doing, in a sense, is a ritual. All the manipulation, this is a form of dark magic. He's part of it. They've all been playing on your top. Thinking that you're dumb or something. Trying to trap you and bind you to a person, place, or a thing. Because they don't want you in a relationship or you are going just into their relationship. It could be a partnership. It could be something where it's that you and someone come together to work together. But there's clarity out. Okay? There is clarity. Whenever you decide to take some type of action, you are being supported and you will be protected. But just... I'm telling you, this King of Cups here ain't your friend. There's something, something he's going to reveal to you. Either he's going to confess something to you. I wouldn't sit around waiting for it because these people are hot on your tail or something like that. Like, I got the Knight of Swords. Uh-huh, five, uh, three of Swords. I got the Knight of Swords before you. That means they're hot on your tail. They're coming after you. They want to make sure they get to you before you get to someone and partner up with someone. We got the Three of Swords after the Two, uh, two of Cups. And people are pissed off about you two coming together. I don't know if you already partner up with someone or you are fixing to partner up with someone. Uh, these people are working really hard to have someone not seen. They skim out in the reverse, putting it up in the upright. This group, they're pissed off, but I don't give to F. This person is going to be seen, baby. They're going to be seen, okay? They are seen. This group has been collaborating the whole time trying to make someone's work look unholy, unstable, something of that nature. Uh, but it's not. They're heartbroken because this person is still seen. They're heartbroken because someone is being seen as intellectual. Someone knows what it is they're talking about. People can find this person. People can look you up and see what it is you're doing. You could be the divine feminine I'm talking to. I see the king of pentacles out here as well. You could be seeing the person as well that you are wanting to work with or get or give to, but they don't want you doing that. And you see this person as very gifted, very skilled, someone that has put in a lot of work to learn what it is they do. I don't know how you're seeing this person. It could be on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, so, uh, some type of social 
social media platform. Um, but you know where they are on social media. Maybe it's just a matter of you and you and this person meeting, but this whole group coming out in the reverse, this collaboration coming out in the reverse. They all know where this person is. It's been stalking this person. Um, because with the page of swords out here, three of swords, three of pentacles reverse. Two of Swords reverse. This is something. This is someone they've been watching, but lying about as well. It said they come to someone's platform, watch them, and then go and tell some type of lie to the community, or even you to make it seem like someone is what they are not. Okay, so they're obsessed with this person, pissed off, angry. It's like they want what somebody has, but they don't want someone to have it. It could also be that they see what's coming towards someone, and they're pissed off about it because they can't have it. This has to do with a lot of greed and jealousy someone has fallen from grace there may be some type of contract that's over between two people like a, a soul contract that's over between two people um and i think this has to do with a king of cups who the contract he had with someone is over and he's unhappy about that like he wants some type of contract to be renewed but this person is having a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else the, the divine feminine is going to be stepping into some type of ten of cup situation more than likely with the king of pentacles with people coming after you and people coming after the divine feminine it's more than likely the both of you that's supposed to come together what i'm picking up on is that this king of cups reverse thought that he could come back into this woman's life the woman ain't even on the board she don't want to be part of this nonsense he thought he could come back into this woman's life and give her an offer, but he's being rejected. So she probably told him no. Um, and he's pissed off about that because he probably told people that this woman would take him back, that she was sprung over him. Meanwhile, this woman don't give two Fs because she ain't showing up. Sis ain't showing up. Yeah, I'm telling you, something is over between them and he's trying really hard to make things go in his favor and bring her some type of uh, opportunity, give her some type of offer that she ain't interested in. They used to have a family together with that three of cups coming out. This is someone more than likely this man had children with or a child with and the contract is over. And now he's trying to force his way back in there. And because he's been told no, either by the ancestor or ancestors or in some way, shape, or form, he's angry. So he's trying to find his find a way to destroy this woman. Hopefully, he's not the one breaching into the government database and things like that. Because maybe you're fixing to go right to the penitentiary. And can nobody save you if there's a police officer or a, a judge, a lawyer, or someone that's doing this. You may want to respect your license and back up out of this one. Because it's not going the way. That something is about to expose you all so horribly, it won't even make sense. It won't make sense, okay? It won't make sense. There's some type of communication coming to a king of cups. I don't know if he's being paid. He's the one being paid to take some type of reckless action against a king. I knew he was going to come out. King of pentacles, watch out. There is a king of cups around you that's being paid to do you something. He's being paid to do you something. I don't know if this is to sabotage you, lie to you. I don't know if this is a hitman that's been, like he's a hitman. Oftentimes, it's always the person that's closest to you. You would never suspect to be your enemy. This is the person they took, they, 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 uh, they approach, they approached uh, to come after you. So maybe you think you and this person are friends. You ain't friends. They're, they're coming after the both of you, after the Queen of Swords and after you. That woman is in the Queen of Swords energy for a reason. This King of Cups wants her to be in like a King, Queen of Cups energy with him. She don't got time. He's being paid to come after both of you. To destroy, to dismantle, separate the both of you. Make sure that the two of you do not come together. Okay? He's being paid to sabotage this woman's works her livelihood, her income. And, like these people have been doing something for a long time. So even if they tell you they're not doing something anymore, it's a lie. That's because they've hired someone else to do it. So their hands are dirty. Okay. Their hands are dirty, but they're paying people behind the scenes to do it. So they're still doing something at the end of the day. Like, I don't know who this Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of King of Pentacles reverse are that are manipulating a lot of people. They keep coming out together in these reads, but they're working together to cause a lot of manipulations and things aren't going in their favor. I'm telling you, nothing is going in these people's favor. 
It's like they're going through a tower. They're trying to cross a tower, but the tower uh, 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 was either reversed by the universe or it didn't go, like it didn't happen. Or they didn't have the reaction out of the person that they wanted. Like a king of swords, I mean, king of pentacles reversed and a queen of swords reversed. They did something to cause a tower for someone, but that person didn't respond the way that they wanted them to respond. So then they're angry because someone is not like someone, I don't even think this woman reacted or you reacted because I see them coming after the both of you. Like there's something they did to you and you're not responding. It's like they're doing things to get a reaction out of you, but you're still in a friendship like energy. And I don't think that you're being friends with them. You're just being cordial with them until something blows over. But you got a king of pentacles reverse and a king of pentacles upright. The one in the upright you're not responding to these people. It's like they're trying to take something from you as well. They may be trying to take your finances, deplete your resources so that you don't have anything to give to this person you're trying to go towards. Like there's some form of wicked collaboration that's going on behind the scenes and someone has gotten a court official involved that's been crooked their whole life but been pretending that they're not. They are. Um, but there's going to be uh, one in the upright that ends up balancing a situation out. These people are very pissed off about you two working together. Like they're trying to separate you two. I'm telling you. Okay? They're trying to cause you two a lot of heartache, a lot of problems, a lot of competition going on behind the scenes, a lot of arguing. Because people are looking up someone. Either the feminine is online or the masculine is online. They're looking at her or him up. And what they're finding out, they don't like. They don't like. Someone didn't want a group of people looking someone up. They didn't want a group of people looking someone up because when they look someone up, they're hearing the truth. They said, wait, hold on. We got to figure this out. We have to get to the bottom of this. They told us this person was this. They told us this person was that. But it turns out this person is not. So what's going on? I'm telling you. Okay. Clarity is out. Two people will be meeting, just like I said. One of you is going to communicate with the other person and the two of you are going to meet. Whether it's accidental, accidental, coincidental, it's going to happen. But just know there are people in the background of you trying to break you, stop you, destroy. They, like they want you two to have nothing to do with each other. A lot of mental games going on. A lot of uh, 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 just black, dark magic, dark energy being used to hinder two people from having some type of connection. You and this, excuse me, I don't know if you and this person are privy to one another. If you are acquainted with one another, you may not be. But I, bet, I promise you, by the end of this story, you'll be well acquainted. You're showing up as the Page of Cups to the Six of Cups, which means that it's a genuine connection. It's a genuine friendship. One of you, must, one of you or both of you could be very eccentric, and the other person lost that person for that. It's that you like... I'm going to say it's the feminine that's eccentric. Like you, the king of pentacles, like the queen, the, the page of cups energy because they're eccentric. They're different. They're unique. There may be something about business with you that has to do with unique qualities, things that can make you money or something like that. So this may start off as like a business relationship and turn into something else. But you two are genuinely connected. Like you are genuinely interested in someone. So there may be someone us around you that people want you to be interested in but you're not interested in this person because they're not innovative they're not eccentric they don't have like a a, a a strong connection to their intuition because everybody has an intuition it's just a matter of you listening to it someone's someone's not in touch with their intuition they don't know how to listen to their intuition they don't know how to communicate with their higher self. They don't know how to communicate with the spirit realm. They don't know anything about creativity. They don't have a creativity spark. And that's because of the energy this person resides in. It's the eight of source energy. All they do is take from other people in order to make it ahead. So someone, they think their way of defeating the competition is to be unfair. So being unfair is in their in their uh, their world. That's what being fair is when they take from other people so that they can have that's what being fair means to this person, but it's not going the way they thought. It's not come like there's a group that's arguing behind the scenes about two people meeting, trying to figure out how two people cannot uh, meet. Ooh, it's happening, folks. It's happening. It's happening. Whoever, uh, baby, 
Yeah, they're paying this uh, King of Cups to make sure two people don't meet. Whoever this King of Cups is, things ain't gonna go in your favor. Like, you, you fixing to lose everything. This man is stuck in some type of relationship, binded to some type of wife he doesn't want to be with, or he was going through some type of separation, but I don't mean he can return to the Empress energy. And again, the Empress don't even want to show up out here. The, the the King of Swords, I mean, this King of Swords reverse keeps showing up, keep coming up a lot in my mouth. I don't know who this is, but I'm have to, going to have to look into him. I keep trying to say the King of Pentacles. So I don't know if this is the King of Pentacles, King of Swords, reverse kind of energy, and this Queen of Swords, reverse energy. Something is about to backfire on the both of them. That this Queen of Swords, reverse, something keeps coming up about death with her. Like this woman is about to go through some type of ending she she's not expecting. Like I'm talking about losing everything. Everything, everything. Oh, baby, everything. Why the Queen of Swords in the upright is going through a victory? Like, these people are binded to something. There's a Queen of Pentacles, reverse, still out here lying. Still obsessed with someone. Still working really hard to cause someone disappointments. No one is accepting the lies, or whoever she's lying to is not accepting the lies anymore. But she's still trying to keep a facade, keep some type of narrative going on, because she does not want you to receive some type of offer. Solid commitment, whatever this is. Uh, she don't want people being rational about a situation. Situation. Uh, she don't want someone taking the responsible action, basically. And which is the responsible action will be this man being practical about a situation and removing himself from a collaboration or some type of situation or choosing to go with his intuition uh, to move on with his life or even go towards their empress to work with them because this is someone that's business. This is like a business mogul that wants to work with the energy and give them a contract but people don't want this contract being given to this person she said oh she's not deserving of it but they're doing things behind the scenes to try to steal from you try to stop you block you destroy you and things of that nature because they want to make you seem unfit okay they want to make you seem unfit but it's not going to work it hasn't worked it's not going to work i'm telling you this group is a liar they're not seeing things clearly. That's why we have the Ace of Swords out here in the reverse. And they're burdened by this two people meeting. They're not seeing clearly. Something is all about them. But at, but in reality, this has nothing to do with them. Like they've put themselves in something and made something about them that has nothing to do with them. It's all about money. They don't want you all to receive they don't want you all to receive some type of assistance from someone or a friendship. An offer from someone. So it's like they have gone above and beyond. Committing crimes by the way. To make sure you don't receive an offer. Like someone wants you locked up. They want a, a queen of pentacles locked up. So that you don't. Re like they're trying to. There's some type of fraud. That's going on behind the scenes. That's going to be exposed. And it's going to lead to a lot of problems for these people. Like someone is about to cause an institution. A whole lot of money. Because of their uh, inability to control their emotions. Like someone has no control over their emotions. It's like they get pissed off something. That seem, uh, like they don't, like something bothers them. So they take some type of reckless uh, action to do something to someone. And that's not how life works. Just because something makes you feel uncomfortable or you don't like someone. That's not mean you can go and cause them problems. For, for whatever reason, but it's about to backfire on them. I don't know what kind of nonsense this is, but these people got issues coming. The, the kind of legal issues you all have coming in, like there's a person out here that's about to cause an institution a whole lot of money. It won't even make sense. It won't even make sense. It won't even make sense. Whatever action you're taking is going to cause you a lot of losses because the truth is out. I don't know if you're bothered by someone's strength, you may want to walk away, okay? Walk away. Walk away, okay? Because the truth, I'm telling you, the truth is out. There's a card I was wanting to show, but I can't because, <sighs> baby, whoever I saw breaking into the government's database, you may want to back up out of this one. I don't know what kind of desperate time you're on. You may want to back up out of this one. You're out here trying to sabotage someone from having wish fulfillment. You're out here trying to sabotage someone from being happy in life, having all their basic necessities and things like that. Because that's what I heard when I heard, looked at the nine of 
uh, cups. Um, and there's a ten of swords out here. You're trying to sabotage someone from having their basic necessities, having abundance, being fulfilled in life, and things like that. And you don't know you're doing the same to yourself. Someone is very burdened about a communication coming through. Someone seeing you as genuine. Someone liking your energies. Like, whoever they're trying to block or trying to manipulate, this man's opinion is an individual opinion. This is not someone you're going to go tell, hey, that person is this, and then they just go along with it. Like, someone is successful in life for a reason because they have a mind of their own. They do things their way. But it's like every time he tries to take some type of action to do something, there's some type of blockage, some type of manipulation going on. There's a queen of swords around you that manipulates you. It's a king of cups around you that, that manipulates you. Like they're all, everybody, everybody around you is manipulating you or trying to manipulate you, but they don't realize that you don't give to F's. Like you've already made a decision. Either they know or they, and they don't care or they don't know. But it's that you don't give to F's what these people are doing. I, I, I don't get it. It's like they're trying, they're trying really hard to isolate a woman. To have her rejected and feel alone. They're trying really hard to have someone locked up. But it's never going to happen. It's not happening. And this is the part they're not wanting to grasp and accept. It's not happening. It doesn't matter how far you go, who you go to, to help you in the court system. Whoever is helping you is just gaining problems for themselves because everything is out. Everything, the, the tower is out here. There's a big revelation, some type of, re whatever this revelation is, it's revealing all of the lies. Everything you all have been doing. The Queen of Pentacles reverse is being exposed. Queen of Swords reverse is being exposed. King of Swords reverse is being exposed. King of Pentacles reverse. King of Cups reverse. Everybody that's been participating in this, your problems, your secrets, everything's, okay. everything's coming out. And they're still out here paying a King of Cups to keep doing something and he wants to keep doing it. And he don't know that a lot of this stuff is going to fall back on him. You got to be a special kind of dumb. Because obviously they're paying you and you're the one physically taking action to do something. So if there's like an IP address, yours is the one that's going to show up. Um, if there's some type of fingerprint, yours is the one that's going to show up. Name, yours is the one that's gonna, like, I'm just saying hypothetically, if something was being looked at as who did something, it's all going to fall back on you. It's not going to fall back on these people. You can say that they paid you. You can show proof that they paid you. But at the end of the day, you are going to take more of the brunt than they are because you were the one doing everything for them. They were paying you to do to take action. They were paying you to tell lies. They were paying you to cause manipulations and things like that. And you've been in front of this King of Pentacles the whole time. Maybe he thought you were a friend. Maybe you two have been friends for a long time. And he just decided that to take your word for FA's value, but now he's realizing you're not to be trusted. Whatever this is, baby, it's... I don't even know what to tell you all. At the end of the day, there's a soul contract that's over between two people and a new one that's starting. Okay? Um, and that's not on. That's not something that can be undone. I don't know why this King of Cups is pissed off that a soul contract is over. This could also be another King of Cups in a community that pretends to be in the upright. But this is someone very malicious being paid to do something. And he keeps doing it not realizing he's setting himself up. Um, because someone feels invincible, they feel like they have an institution, institution backing them up. The, the institution is not backing you up. You're delusional as heck. Delusional as heck. Man. Someone may, may in, in, maybe in the recent past or in the future, someone's not going to want to work with a queen of swords to sabotage someone because something is about to take a turn. Like there's a tower someone is about to go through. They're going to be like, nah, I ain't working with you. Find somebody else to do it. Go find, like this group. Huh. <laughs> this group, they are so worried because things are not working out for them. There's some type of, I don't know what this is. It's going like some type of fall from grace for someone that has taken place and it's out there. Like they can't pretend anymore. And this is leading to, leading to some type of loss. For these people. Anyways, honey. Listen, I'm out of here. I'll see you all in the next read. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.